What's up guys? Moving on to the next question. So an airplane is traveling at 450 kilometers per hour due south when it encounters a wind from west 55 degrees north at 100 kilometers per hour. What is the resultant velocity of the airplane? Okay, so first thing you want to do, like usual with this type of question, is draw a diagram. So we know the plane is traveling south. 450 kilometers per hour and then it's encountering a wind from west 55 degrees north so if we draw a compass here like that so this is east this is south this is west up here is north now this wind is coming from west 55 degrees north now where is west 55 degrees north if we start west go north 55 degrees something like that now this would be if the wind is going in that direction towards west 55 degrees north but it's coming from there so it's going in the exact opposite direction so it's going this way all right like that and now notice with the Z pattern, this angle is 55, which means that this angle over here is 55 as well. So this here is 55 degrees. And then this here is 90 degrees. And now notice that we have the plane vector. We got the wind vector. Let me erase this other one. So there's just less going on here, not to confuse you. So got the plane, got the wind, and so the resultant is going to look like that, going that way, right? Because you have a plane vector, you got a wind vector, and then you have a resultant vector, right? So with these types of questions, always be aware of what they are giving you and what you're being asked. In this case, we're simply given the plane vector, we're given the wind vector, or ask for the resultant vector, the resultant velocity. But as you saw in the lecture videos, which I highly recommend you going over because I go through a lot of tough questions in the lecture videos dealing with airplanes and winds. Sometimes you're asked for different things. Sometimes you're asked for the wind velocity or the wind direction or which direction does the plane have to fly, right? But in this case, we're just simply asked for the resultant. So we got the plane going south, then we got the wind uh, coming from west 55 degrees north. So that's the same as going towards east 55 degrees south. And then the resultant is going to be here. Right? And then the wind has a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. So notice that we just got a triangle now. We can add these two angles. So 90 plus uh, 55, that's 145 degrees. Let's actually draw this triangle down here again. A little nicer. Uh, so this is 450, this is 100, and then this is 145 degrees, right? And we're looking for this uh, resultant, so that's like the speed of the resultant. And then um, the direction, we're going to solve for this theta here, right? So let's start off by solving for that resultant speed. So to do that, we would do cosine law. So we got the resultant squared equals 450 squared plus 100 squared minus 2 times 100 times 450 times cos of uh, 145. So when you do that in the calculator, you end up getting 535 kilometers per hour. So that there is the resultant speed but they want the resultant velocity, so we're also going to have to get the direction, so we're going to solve for this theta. To solve for that theta, we can uh, use sine law. So we could do sine of 145 over 535 equals sine of theta over that opposite side, 100. Okay, and then when we cross multiply, when we isolate for that theta, we'll basically be taking the inverse of 100 times sine of 145 all over 535.
and when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 6.15 degrees. So that there is 6.15 degrees, and then maybe let's uh, write that angle here, 6.15 degrees. So how can we state that as a direction? Well, if we draw a compass here, we got north, east, west, and then this is going south. So this direction here is going to be what? South, 6.15 degrees towards the east. All right, south, 6.15 degrees towards the east for the direction of this vector here. So the final answer for this question, the resultant velocity is the speed, so 535 kilometers per hour in a direction south, 6.15 degrees east. That there is the final answer.